What if I told you that one overlooked setting inside your router and it could let a silent stranger slip in, hijack your connection and watch every website you visit, even the ones with a shiny HTTPS padlock. And he could do all that without ever touching your phone or laptop. In this video, you will learn the signs that your Wi-Fi has been hacked and how attackers actually spy on you and they do that through your own network by exploiting something you use every second of every day but you know you never think about this stay tuned because once you understand this you will never look at the little blinking router the same way again let's start with the bigger picture when you share your Wi-Fi password, you're not just lending bandwidth, you're inviting people into a private neighborhood, a local network where every single device in your home talks to the same traffic cop, which is your router. Phones, laptops, TVs, security cameras, smart fridges, they all whisper through that one box. Give the password to a friend, a neighbor, even a well-meaning guest and they can roam this neighborhood. If they're curious or malicious, they can scan for open ports, sniff uncrypted traffic or target the router itself. Think of it like giving someone the spare key not just to your front door but to every room in your house plus the alarm system's control panel. Here is the star of the show domain name system or DNS. The internet doesn't understand words, it speaks only in numbers, IP addresses. When you type twitter.com into your browser, it doesn't magically know where to go, it has to ask what the IP address for twitter.com is. That question starts a journey. Hey, sorry to interrupt your video, but I've got a quick question. Are you interested in building a career in ethical hacking? We've partnered with EC Council to bring you the Certified Ethical Hacker, or CEH, Masterclass, and it's the perfect place to start. In this course, you'll learn step-by-step -step how to think and act like a hacker so you can protect organizations from cyber threats. You'll gain hands-on experience with industry-standard hacking tools such as Nmap, Wireshark, Metasploit, Burp Suite, John the Ripper, Nikto, Aircrack NG, and many others. Master ethical hacking with AI-driven techniques to enhance your skills and always stay a step ahead. You'll explore techniques used in footprinting, scanning, enumeration, system hacking, malware analysis, sniffing, social engineering, and more. You'll also dive into advanced topics like web application attacks, wireless network security, cryptography, cloud security, and penetration testing methodology. Everything you need to pass the CEH certification exam and become a skilled ethical hacker. The CEH certification is a globally respected credential that validates your ability to identify and fix security vulnerabilities in networks and systems. It's ideal for anyone looking to become an ethical hacker, penetration tester, security analyst, or cybersecurity consultant. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing fields in tech, and ethical hackers are in huge demand. In fact, according to EC Council, the demand for ethical hackers has grown by over 40% in the past year alone, with penetration testing jobs being among the top five fastest growing roles in cybersecurity. Organizations across finance, healthcare, government, and tech are actively hiring CEH certified professionals to help defend against cyber threats. CEH certified professionals earn anywhere from $95,000 to $150,000 US dollars per year, and experienced professionals with advanced skills can earn $160,000 to over $200,000 annually, according to Glassdoor, Payscale, and CyberSeek. If you're ready to launch a high-impact, high-paying career in cybersecurity, this course is for you. We placed a link to the CEH course in the description area of this video. Enroll today and take the first step toward becoming a certified ethical hacker. Now, back to the video. Your device first checks a small local cache. If it doesn't find an answer, it fires off a DNS query, a tiny packet that says, hey, what's the address for this domain? That query heads straight to the DNS server configured on your router. From there, it may bounce through a hierarchy of servers, the root servers, the top level domain servers like .com, .org, etc. And finally, the authoritative server for Twitter.com. The IP address, let's say 104.244.42.1, 
it travels back and that's how your browser connects with the website. This happens every single time you load a page, click a link, open an app or watch a video. Thousands of DNS lookups per day silently translating human names into machine numbers. So now let us move into why DNS is a gold mine for hackers. Think of DNS like outside of every envelope you mail. The message inside might be private, but the address is printed for anyone to see. Bank logins, health sites, political forums, dating apps, every visit starts with a DNS request and that request is visible even if the page itself is encrypted. For attackers, a full DNS log is a ready-made profile. It shows four things. Number one, when you wake up and go to sleep based on your first and last lookups. Number two, which bank or payment service you use and how often. Number three, whether you are researching medical issues or planning travel. Number four, what smart devices live in your house because each one calls home to a unique domain. This data is valuable to everyone from cyber criminals to advertisers to intelligence agencies. They don't need your passwords, they just watch the pattern of your lookups to build a complete behavioral map. That's why hackers love router takeovers and DNS hijacking. With one quiet change to your router's DNS settings, they can watch every site you try to visit and redirect you to fake ones if they want. That lets them gain insight into your life without ever breaking encryption. Now, who decides where those DNS questions are sent first? The answer, your router. Most people leave it on the default, usually their internet service provider's servers. But if a hacker changes that setting, every device in your house, phones, tablets, smart TVs automatically ask its servers for directions. And the scary part, they don't have to touch each device individually. Change it once on the router and you have hijacked the entire household. Now the question is how hackers take over a router. Now I want you to picture this. Your entire home network is protected by a single box that rarely gets any attention after installation. That box is the perfect target. And it could be a perfect target because of these three things. Number one, weak credentials. You know, far too many routers still ship with default logins like admin, admin, or 1234. Lists of these are public, so anyone can try them. Number two, guest access. Now hand your Wi-Fi password to a friend or a neighbor and they can quietly run a port scan, discover the admin page at 192.168.1.1 and test those default passwords in seconds. Now number 3, old firmware. Routers often go years without updates, leaving well documented security holes wide open. Once inside, a hacker doesn't need elite skills. They open the settings page, change a couple of DNS numbers, and log out. From that moment on, every DNS query you send, every site you try to reach, flows through their server first. And here's where it gets unsettling. You'd never know anything had changed. Your Wi-Fi still works, websites still load, but behind the curtain, the hacker now decides where your traffic goes. That quite invisible edit turns your router from a doorway to the internet into a surveillance hub. And this brings us to what a compromised DNS server can do. Most of the time, the rogue DNS server answers normally to stay hidden. But whenever the attacker wants, it can do three things. Number one, it can spy on you. It can keep a detailed log of every domain you visit, creating a timeline of your daily life. Number two, redirect. It can redirect and send you to a fake banking site that looks pixel perfect complete with a padlock. Number three, inject ads or malware. Now he can slip malicious code into the very first connection before HTTPS even kicks in. That's what a hacker could do. Now, 
because this hijack happens at the router level, your antivirus, your browser, and even your VPN until it connects are blind to it. The hacker doesn't need to break encryption. They have simply moved the signposts on the road you travel every day. Fortunately, you can fight back. And you can fight back in these five ways. Number one, change the admin username and password immediately. Make it long and unique. Number two, update router firmware regularly. Number three, lock your DNS to a trusted provider like Cisco Umbrella or Cloudflare and if your router supports it, prevent remote changes. Number four, enable DNS over HTTPS or DNS over TLS. And you do that on each device so even a rogue router can't read your queries. Number five, and be stingy with that Wi-Fi password. Treat it like a house key and not a party favor. Now, let us talk about setting up a watchdog. In a minute, I'll show you how I tested this myself. I searched for my public IP, logged into my own router and HG8546 using the default credentials I found online. Then I created an account with Cisco Umbrella or open DNS and I changed my router to use their secure DNS and instantly saw how it blocks suspicious lookups. This is exactly how you can monitor and protect your own network. So that's the theory, the invisible plumbing of the internet and the single point a hacker needs to own you. Now let me prove it. Watch as I hop into my router, show the DNS settings and connect the network to Umbrella so every shady site gets caught in real time. After you see how simple this is, you will never think of a harmless Wi-Fi password the same way again. Alright, here is where it gets wild. Step 1. Pop open the Windows command prompt and type ipconfig. This little command is like X-ray vision for your network. Scroll down to the LAN adapter section and there it is your default gateway IP address. That is basically the street address of your Wi-Fi router. Next move is that you take that IP and drop it into any browser. I'm using Chrome. Hit enter and suddenly you are starting at the router's login page. This is the control room of your entire network where every password, every connected device, and every setting lives. Here's the twist. I do not know the credentials, and neither do you. Normally, only the ISP techs or hardcore network admins have that info. But what this, a two-second Google search for HD8546 default username and password, it pulls up the factory login. Yes, it is public. Now the heart-pounding moment. I type the default username and password, I hit enter and I am in. I am looking at the most sensitive settings of my home network. If I, a total amateur, can pull that off, imagine that what a real hacker could do. And by the way, I call myself a total amateur out of humility, you know, I know a little bit about computers. Anyway, get back to the video. They can change DNS settings, I am talking about the hackers. They can track every website you visit, and they can even reroute traffic to fake banking pages without you ever noticing. Now, let us move into locking it down with OpenDNS Umbrella. To shut down that kind of spying, we are going to take control of our own DNS. In the router setting, find the section for primary and secondary DNS servers and then instead of leaving them on the default, the ones a hacker could hijack, we replace them with the secure servers from Cisco's OpenDNS umbrella. And this umbrella is like a giant security shield for every device on your Wi-Fi. Now why we use this umbrella? Because it blocks malicious domains before your browser even loads the page. It is like having a bouncer at the front door of the internet kicking out phishing sites, malware, and trackers in real time. Alright, time to bring in the heavy hitter. First, open your browser and search for OpenDNS Umbrella. Click the login link at the top, then hit sign up to create a free account. On the sign up page, drop in your real name, a working email, 
agree to the terms and click start my free trial. No credit card nonsense, no hidden fees, just straight to the point. And boom, you are inside your own Cisco Umbrella dashboard. The dashboard immediately asks you to create a network. This is where the magic happens because it gives you the exact DNS addresses you need. Copy the primary DNS address first and paste it into the primary DNS field of your router settings. Do the same with the secondary DNS and then hit apply, save changes and let your router reboot so the new settings take effect. Back in the umbrella dashboard, give your network a clear name like home shield and enter your public IP address. If you're not sure what that is, open a new tab and search what is my IP address. Copy the number that shows up and paste it into Umbrella. Then click next. You can skip the optional steps if you like and finish by selecting start using Cisco Umbrella. That's the setup and it's live. Right now you can watch a real time feed of blocked threats, security events and the top domains touching your network. Every shady lookup is caught and filtered before it even reaches a single device. It's like throwing on night vision goggles and suddenly seeing the entire battlefield, only this time you are the one in control. Time for the real test. In your browser, type internetbadguys.com, a known phishing site. Hit enter and boom, Cisco Umbrella slams that door shut you are greeted with a big warning page instead of a trap. That's your shield, proving it can stop an attack before it even starts. Think about it, minutes ago, anyone on your Wi-Fi could have tracked your every move. Now, every packet of data passes through a fortress you have built. You've gone from target to a guardian. And that's a wrap guys, from one simple command prompt to a fortress grade DNS shield, you just watched a home network go from wide open to hacker proof in minutes. Now the ball's in your court, every click, every scroll, every late night stream is protected because you took action. That's not just tech, that's freedom. And remember the old line, trust but verify. You trusted your network before. Today you verified it and locked it down. So here's the challenge. Share this with someone who still thinks their default router password is fine. Hit that like button if you just leveled up your security IQ and comment below the next cyber move you want to master. Now, stay curious, stay fearless and I'll see you in the next digital adventure.